talk to me. Bye bye now. Today we're going to be fighting the Beaconator. He's a solo pet in your daily garrison. And the pets I'm going to use are another fairy dragon with arcane blast, life exchange, and moon fire. And then a nexus whelpling with frost breath, mana surge, and an arcane storm, and another ne nexus whelpling with the same abilities. So we're going to start off with our another fairy dragon, mainly because of this exchange life ability. It's just really, really cool um, after he does his wind up ability. So Beaconator um, has Alpha Strike, Wind Up, and Touch of the Animus. He has a flying ability too, so he's going to take more damage from from magic pets. All right, and dragons take less damage from flying abilities, although he only really has one flying ability. So that's what we got going on. So we're going to start off with Moonfire. Then we're going to Arcane Blast, and uh... Save our life exchange for when he does his wind up. Or if he does it now, he might kill us actually. I'm going to life exchange now. So as you can see, it made our, our health pool the same, and it does not discriminate whatsoever. Like, we are at 947, and he is at 947, so it took a, a good chunk of his health away. So go ahead and moonfire again. Or he'll kill us. That's right. So, we need to go ahead and Arcane Storm because our Mana Surge procs off of that. And Arcane Storm's not too bad because it deals a certain amount of damage split between all enemies, but if there's only one enemy, he gets all the damage. Now go ahead and Mana Surge. And there you go. We had that backup dragon for um, for backup, I guess, but didn't need it. So good luck with your uh, beacon eater quest.